hey guys in this video we will be taking a look at some of the famous faces that were at this event yes i'm talking about the wedding between made kuti and his wife adane yes adane and nicola Bokuti. yes so she has changed her surname shapali shapali no time so first on the list of course we have the world famous designer larry da silva and Erica Lewedim. Yes, so both ladies were at the event. We also had Bovi. Bovi is a renowned comedian, an A list comedian, if you ask me, one of the best out of the country. AY was at the event, yes, and he played a major role because it looks like he has an amazing, an amazing relationship with the mother of the groom. So here we have Yeni Kuti. We have Caroline King. How many of you remember her from I Need to Know? Midday's mother in Skinny Girl in Transit. We have Banky and Tunde Dumero. We had Shafi Bedo. Who else can you see in the background? We had, of course, Auntie Kate Henshaw, the energy guard. She brought down some real energy. It was almost present, of course, and he rocked. Oh, my God, be like saying that this guy, they were do. And we had the gorgeous Chioma good hair. Then we had Tunde Onokai Onok, Onakoya, the slum, but being a chest in the slum guy. Of course, the gorgeous Simi Dre was present. We had Daniel Etim, F. Young, and Bovi. Of course, you saw Bovi earlier. Then we had Chioma Goodhair, the beautiful Chioma Goodhair. To me, she's the best dressed. Her dress is beautiful. Her top. Hey, God. Omo, who go help me sew this one? Then we have Unse's sister. Unse Intimepio. That's the dark one she's into ladies she is a l e s you know the rest yes she's quite famous for that well that's incest sister dancing yes they look alike somehow but she's a bit on the chubby side so here we have ketensho erica lewedim and uh, who is this gorgeous lady this picture looks pretty much over edited so I, I don't recognize her she looks like the stylist but i don't know i don't want to give wrong information so i'll let it i'll pass we have shafi Bello, of course we have erica and bovi then we have the real housewife of lagos chum chum to be very honest choma is definitely my best dressed like oh my god she slid to the t i'm going to do a separate post for their shwebi styles the girl's friends the bride's mom the groom's mom and of course your regular celebrities then um yes guys would you like to know how they met fact i really do need to be careful hey how did i forget the Igbo master himself the uncle of the groom Shin Kuti, he was present now. He's among the popular people. Guys, eh, there are lots of lessons to learn from the Kuti Zo. Shin used to be so rude to Femi and eh? like he was so rude, but in fact, at a point, it was like they, there was a power tussle between them and all that because Shin was actually really close to his father. So I guess he, he thought maybe the attention, the spotlight would be on him, but of course, people were focused on fella's first son who happens to be femi kuti and but regardless i love that they didn't you know pursue him away they were still kind to him they still embraced him and they still smoothed him and well as it is today they are pretty cool like you can see the bond he shares with made yes you can see the bond he shares with made and also recall that when he had this back and forth with peter of peace square peter had to insert made and Made said, please, oh, don't join issues with me and my uncle. We are good. Well, I was pretty impressed. That was when I knew that the boy's head is grounded. So the family, the fella was a polygamist, but his children have a really tight bond. And this goes to show that there are always people that are different in your families. You don't need to throw them away. You just have to find a way to include them and just know how to manage them. Like Femi and Yeni Kuti have managed Shen Kuti. 
so guys don't worry about the fact that this particular video has no volume i am definitely going to make a separate post where you get to hear some of the discussions and you know some of the songs playing in the background remember that this post is about the famous this video is about the famous people who we are at the wedding so guys i want to tell you something i am sure most of you did not know about you know the groom madekuti he's actually a monogamist he believes in monogamy and his father says he's surprised because unlike him he cannot stay with one woman that is femi so made was for three years Madi was in a relationship. He, he started dating the girl in 2020, according to him, November 1st. That's why they decided to wed on their anniversary. So he said when he started dating her, that he gave her a promise ring. He also wears a promise ring, reminding him of his commitment to her. So you see how intentional this guy has always been. And according to his father, the guy was always about, there's one girl I like, there's a girl I like. And his father is like, oh my God, well, where did you get that from? I am not a one man, one woman kind of man. And according to the father, his ex-wife, Funke Kuti, knew that he was a polygamist even before she got married to him. And she was okay with that, yes. She was okay with the fact that, you know, their relationship, their marriage wasn't an exclusive one. It wasn't closed. And uh, according to what Femi said, Femi is pretty shocked that his son turned out differently. To be very honest, I wouldn't blame him. Sometimes when he has seen that his how is his father's life? I mean, Femi has over after Funke left, Femi went on to have like five kids with different women. At a point, he was even planning to get married to one. I don't know if he later married that one, but you see that the guy must have watched his father. That's not the way to live. You know, that's what that's what one time somebody was saying she can't marry a polygamist and i was like my parents are from polygamous homes and they made the decision not to my parents will never support any of us to be wife number two my dad even when people were telling him to marry a second wife because my mom had all girls he refused because my dad my dad's mom was a second wife and he knows what it means to grow up in a polygamous home my mom's mom was the first wife they had a second wife and until this day like you always know that oh these are the second wife's children you know in terms of everything generally so my mom will always say no it's even better you're the first let the wife come my dad does not even want to hear or oh, don't be second wife for any reason so you see that they have tried polygamy and they have seen that it's a no-no like not like they tried it themselves like they were raised in a polygamous home so they know what it's like the dynamics of being raised in a polygamous home two said the same thing two said if her husband decides to take a second wife that's the end of the marriage for her she can't deal with polygamy the animosity everything is always there as much as sometimes they try to act pretty cool outside take a look at your leduchi his father wasn't a isn't a polygamist he isn't from a polygamous home but look how he turned out he decided to try polygamy so sometimes when people say oh i can't marry somebody that is from a polygamous home it makes me laugh because yeah, i mean somebody who isn't even from a polygamous home can decide to be polygamous someone who is from a polygamous home can say oh no i don't like how this thing affected me i don't like the dynamics of being in a in being from a polygamous home so i wouldn't do it myself like for made made is very intentional he has made the decision he isn't ready to be a polygamist and i'm really hoping he sticks to that because it'd be like say that this wedding don't bring out in lego because many people didn't know so much about him but as it is now he needs to stay woke sha so pretty much guys that's all for now so in fact i'm going to don't worry i'm going to give you a gist like the main gist of how the met how their relationship has been just keep it locked or are you tired do you want to see more